So what is narcissistic supply? Basically, what it what it stems from, narcissists lack inner resources and they are dependent on others to get the inner validation that affirms their gigantic ego, right? They need other people mirroring back to them how awesome they are, how amazing they are, how fantastic they are. They also need other people showing them that the other person is wrong. So they need that negative attention, that negative energy going back and forth so that they have something to push against and they have something to control and manipulate. Anytime you're in a relationship with someone who is narcissistic or has a personality disorder, it isn't an actual equal exchange or even remotely close to an equal exchange. It's all about you giving to them supply and them taking from you the supply. So I am Lise Colucci and I'm a life coach helping you with everything related to narcissists, understanding narcissistic relationships and toxic relationships and helping you to move on in your life and heal from all of this. So, so people ask often to define the terms. What are the terms we use? Narcissistic supply is one of the terms you're going to hear a lot of, right? So it's really a narcissist doesn't love and care and have relating in a relationship what they're doing is taking energy taking taking the source of taking the supply from the attention from the affection from the person that they are in relationship with or situationship with whatever you want to call it narcissistic supply is anyone or anything that the narcissist uses to get attention to get affection to get their ego boost to get fulfilled from and it can sound really cold when you first hear this i'm not supply i'm a human being right we're not talking about what you are we're talking about how they see you they don't necessarily see you like they're not thinking that's my supply right but that's how they experience relationship with others that they are taking that you are here to serve them i was even told that you're here to serve me okay so <laughs> If you've not done so, hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up. And how do they get this supply? Narcissists manipulate the situation. They manipulate the entire relationship. They gaslight you. What happens in an argument when you're gaslighting? Let's look at a regular, healthy argument. Someone says, I'm unhappy about this. The other person says, let's talk about it. What is it about this that you're unhappy with? The person says, X, Y, Z. And they say, X, Y, Z, let me think about it. Okay. And then they have a conversation back and forth about whatever the problem is. A narcissist or a toxic person who, who will not engage and have accountability, you say, I'm unhappy with this. The toxic person says, what do you think I am? You think I'm happy with this? You think I'm happy with you? And then they start twisting the truth and then they start confusing things. And then they start talking about something that happened last week that is unrelated, that throws you off track. And they start gaslighting and they start manipulating. All of that takes supply because in a healthy exchange, it's back and forth. There's energy and there's flow and there's conversation between two people. With a narcissist, everything's funneling toward the narcissist's point of view. And that is one way they get supply. Another way they get supply is by love bombing you. If they are giving to you gifts, affection, kind words, whatever, or if they're not doing that, but they're just not being mean, right? Um, they are love bombing you. You react with, oh my gosh, they're the best thing ever, right? Look at all this. Look at this great trip they just took me on. Even if you're like, but the trip was horrible because they were so terrible the whole time. They still did it, right? And that gives them supply. It gives them not only supply from you, but supply from everyone around you who sees what an amazing gift giver or trip giver or whatever it is that they are, right? So they are not only seeking supply from one person, they're seeking supply from the whole world, from everyone who crosses their path. You know how when you're in a relationship with a narcissistic person, it feels like it's never enough. It feels like you can't do enough. You're not good enough. Enough comes up a lot, that word. That is because they have an insatiable need for supply. It isn't something like, I require kindness every day for five minutes, whatever, right? It isn't that. I require kindness every day. It's not that. They, re they need affection, attention, admiration, worship, praise. They need the argument. They need the conflict. They need you to hurt so that they can control you. 
They need, if you hurt and then they're nice to you, they become the source of injury and the source of fixing the injury, the, the, the wound and then the the balm that soothes it, right? And that gives them power. It gives them supply. Feeling powerful and feeling full of their ego and their uh, representation of their delusion being what other people see and or at least what they think other people see. That's what they're looking at. That is the whole purpose. The supply is filling, right? But there is never an ending. It's never enough because you see that's not a real fulfilling life. That's chasing something that isn't real. It's chasing a delusion. And you can never fill it up because there's there's no bottom to it. It's endless. So we're not depersonalizing you when we say supply. We're depersonalizing it within that situation so that you can see that the relationship itself is not something healthy for people. It's not healthy for you. To be seen as a source of supply can help you open up your eyes to the whole situation so that you can make a choice for your life if that's where you wish to be or if you wish to separate from that and find healthier relationships in your life. Right. I'm Lise Colucci. If you need coaching or group coaching, check out the information in every video. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.